So I've always been a visual learner, um, so it really made sense for me to approach biology in a similar way where I could associate images with complex problems. My lab is interested in studying all the parts that come together and make up a really specialized compartment in the cell called the mitochondria. We take different views of our mitochondria, and then by using computational approaches, we can reconstruct them into a three-dimensional representation. And so that's really where the technique that I specialize in, cryoelectron tomography, really shines, because it's one of the few techniques that allows us to really not only look at the details of the individual parts, but also all of them holistically together. Scripps has a lot of amazing research that goes on, a lot of multifaceted, interdisciplinary research that happens. We collaborate with Dr. Luke Wiseman, and Dr. Wiseman's lab comes up with creative strategies to target and potentially use these as therapeutics to ameliorate some of the diseases that are associated with these stress pathways. So the challenge we faced is we really didn't have the expertise to look at uh, those sorts of things using the approaches we had in the lab. And so Danielle had developed the cryo-electron cryo tomography based setup here, and that really provides a unique opportunity to study mitochondrial ultrastructure in a way that we couldn't have looked at before. The, the key thing for us to really apply this sort of technology in my mind was to be able to develop um, higher throughput strategies where we can have multiple different images. We're not you know, solely focused on one image. It turns out Danielle had solutions to that already in place. No two cells are completely identical. And so what's really important in cell biology is that you sample or you are able to image a wide range of cells. I envision sort of a, a time when there's not this stark contrast between cellular and structure biology. And I really think tomography is at the heart of what can blur that line between cellular and structure biology. This is something I view a lot as a discovery-based tool that's opening new doors for us. What we're trying to do is figure out how our bodies are naturally protecting ourselves from different types of pathologic insults, things that are associated with different types of diseases. And if we understand how those pathways work, we can find ways to actually hijack them. And by hijacking them, we can develop new therapeutics to intervene disease. And, and what's cool about this is the same pathways that are involved in, say, diabetes are also involved in neurogenerative disorders. It is something that has now become a major aspect of our program um, that, that we hope to be doing this for the next decade or more.